coast to coast, people are losing their homes to foreclosure. California is no exception. When your payment or two or three or four or ten behind on your mortgage, or you think that you're going to fall behind on your mortgage for a good reason, foreclosure looms. This short video is going to tell you three methods that people all across America are using to stop the foreclosure process. Those methods are loan modifications, mortgage replacements that virtually no one's heard of, and short sales. First one's loan modifications. By the way, at the end of this, I'm going to give you the website, which is StopForeclosure3Ways.com, or if you want more detailed information about this, you're welcome to check it out and or contact me. 10 million loan modifications are predicted this year, and the reason is real simple. Big banks and little banks all across America finally realize that it's a heck of a lot cheaper to modify an existing loan with a homeowner than going through the foreclosure process. You see, the bank saves thousands if they can modify their loan rather than foreclose. The bank also doesn't have to put money into reserve, so says the federal government if they have taken a home back through foreclosure. They also then don't have to resell your home, many times having to spend thousands of dollars fixing it up. It's also better for the cash flow for the bank because if you have your loan modified, you continue to make that loan modification payment. If you're being foreclosed, most people don't pay the bank a dime, and that can go on for months and even longer. Additionally, on the balance sheet of the bank, having a foreclosed home is called a non-performing asset, and they cannot borrow as much money if they have those on the books. From a homeowner's point of view, loan modifications don't affect your credit score, and the reality is strange but true, but you probably can get a better rate right now with a loan modification, if you have someone do it that knows what they're doing, then if you had absolutely perfect credit. Stops the stress in your household. Having a payment that you know that you can live with that's permanent, even having past due amounts forgiven and loan balances reduced. Let me show you a quick example of a recent one. Homeowner's mortgage payment interest rate was 7.875. The law firm was able to get it down to 6. That reduced the payments from 5200 and change to 4100 That's $1,000 cash savings a month. And they were able to get $8,800 in past due amount forgiven. And something on here that kind of, unless you don't notice, uh, the payments uh, dropped by $1,000. But also included in that 4100 is $800 in principal reduction. That's why the, the term goes from 30 years to 27 because it's paid off earlier because you've got money going towards paying off the balance. Loan Mods R Us is one of our websites. Uh, we use a network of nine law firms that will evaluate your circumstances free. If they accept you, they have a 97% success rate and a money back guarantee should they not be able to do a loan modification for you. We have free conference calls every week, 7 o'clock Central Time. Here's the phone number and the code, my contact information. At Loan Mods R Us, we've got the 22 most frequently asked questions that I receive about loan modifications. Check it out if you like. Mortgage replacements, called America's best kept secret. Who do we owe? Good old Uncle Sam. He protects us every day, right? Here are a list of six acts that each have dozens of laws in them. If you total them all up, there are 180 laws that Uncle Sam has got on the books that banks are supposed to comply with with every single loan to every single homeowner. Guess what? They haven't been called to task for it. There's been no accountability, no auditing for it. And as a result, virtually none of them are doing it. Now, this process involves a lot of people so if you want more information, I, I'll go through the short version here, but you are welcome to call me and I will explain it as very best I can. It starts with a homeowner, you, and a, and a loan with the bank. Uncle Sam's got his 180 laws that he's put on the books. If you want to challenge and make the bank prove that you've done this, you contract with the company. The company then hires on your behalf a law firm. The law firm contacts the bank. The bank says, yes, here's what we've got. 
the law firm then goes to the judge and says, Judge, these guys have violated a hundred of the 180 rules and laws. Well, the poor bank says, Oh no, Justice Department gets involved and it gets very, very um, sticky, I guess is the best way to put it. And again, I'll gladly explain exactly the sequence of events of how, who does what to who, at what point, and how it all uh, works out. The bottom line is, in most instances, the bank is going to be forced by the Justice Department at the direction of the federal judge to write a check to you, the homeowner. That check, in almost all instances, is going to pay off your loan to the bank. That loan is then replaced with a new mortgage that is half the size of the one that you had. This one's at 2% simple interest for 40 years with no qualifying, no closing costs, no PMI, it's private mortgage insurance, and it is fully assumable should you decide to sell your home. Here's a quick example. If you have a quarter of a million dollar mortgage at 8%, your payments would be about 1800 the new mortgage, after the first one's paid off, would be half that, 125 at 2% are payments of $378 per month. It's less than a car payment. Your savings, 1400 and change per month, or $17,000 real cash savings annually. If you have a larger mortgage, let's say $400,000, 6.5%, payments would be $2,500-ish. New mortgage, half the 400 or 200 at 2%, payments of 600 hundred and six dollars savings of nineteen hundred dollars per month or over twenty thousand per year if you've decided you don't want to stay in your home you just want to stop the foreclosure a short sale is probably one of your best options the advantage to short sales is they do stop the foreclosure usually the reason I say usually is with us nationwide short sale service a company we recommend they make an offer immediately to the bank. The bank, upon receiving it, will then, in most instances, contact the law firm and say, put a hold on the foreclosure. We've got an offer. That's good. It stops the foreclosure. The realtor, in this instance, does what they do best, which is show your house and write offers. From another perspective, your credit report will show a satisfied debt with a successful short sale, versus a foreclosure. Additionally, while the process is going on, you, the homeowner, stay in your home and in most instances, people are not making their mortgage payments during the process, mostly because the bank won't accept them. The cost of this service is under $400 with one mortgage and under five with two. I get the question regularly, how do they make money? The answer is the bank pays them on the HUD, it doesn't come out of your pocket. Time works against you. Do something. I highly recommend going to my website, stopforeclosure3ways.com, or call me or email me. On our website, we have a chart that shows the three methods I've just described side by side so you can evaluate them. And again, contact me, phone, email, whatever is your pleasure, and or go to Loan Mods or Us and check out loan modifications in detail if that's your choice. Do something. Thank you for your time. May God richly bless you and yours today.